Hey guys, uh, welcome back for another video. So in this video, let us see about a PHA called Backdoor, right? So uh, let us understand what is Backdoor before we go into the analysis. So Backdoor in the sense, it is uh, a malicious APK or malicious code that binds to your device and creates a, a socket connection or any any uh, connection with the author where it can it can grab all kind of data be it private data like suppose you know if, if there is a backdoor open okay it can it, it, it can install uh, any commands remotely in a sense it can install any apk remotely you can delete any apk from a remotely or uh, or the main purpose of a backdoor is to grab uh, all the device data something like contact something like logs sms all the incoming sms and all the packages right so it's not restricted only for uh, contacts and SMS and all. It even it even uh, uh, something like if any th uh, applications is sending out some banking notifications, suppose something like that, or uh, something like uh, getting the acquiring the, all the packages, right? Uh, so like it has been complete authority of whatever you are doing as a user. Even a uh, mother author can do it from a remotely in a sense from a remote seat, right? So I have an example uh, as such. So this is uh, the APK and that uh, in the Android, mm, this is the APK, right? If you go to the, let me uh, show you guys, this is the APK. So if you try to install it, let me show you. It, it is showing something, right? Some, some, something. So agree and continue. First, it is it, it is asking permission to take a video. Hello, it is asking to manage a phone calls. Hello, contacts, external storage, and even SMS, and even to record audio. It asked everything, and it didn't give any 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 response here. Probably, if you go to the settings, and if you see now. All the permissions has been uh, you know granted for this app. All the permission, right? So let us analyze uh, via static analysis, like how and uh, how it is uh, uh, gathering all those info, right? As we start, you know, we have to start from Android Manifest. Uh, th the same permissions has been initialized here. And uh, another thing is we have a uh, activity. These are main activity, and we have some services also main service and uh, we have some providers okay and we have some receiver so even receiver is exported by default and another receiver which checks the boot complete okay it is like it is like it is trying to know uh, like suppose if you if you perform like switch off or power off or functionality in the mobile it will try to get to know when the mobile is turning on back something like when, like whenever uh, it is turned on it will uh, like it will send some signal to some activity to restart some malicious code something like that right okay fine we have our main activity let us start our uh, analysis from main activity so it is this our main activity. Let us go with our on create. So this is the on create, and uh, in on create it is uh, setting some set content default and inside that there is one uh, a parameters password. So let us see what is this parameter is responsible for. On create one, okay. This is the on create one, and if you see here invoke, okay. Okay. It implements over oh, is that okay dev mail okay on create this is the one right okay so let us see where is this got used okay it's been used inside okay yeah, sorry that's where we went right okay so here it has it is getting uh something something from main activity okay this is what is passed inside uh we have some invoke okay nothing suspicious okay 
we'll try to we'll try to go one by one let's let's first we'll try from main activity if we didn't get any main activity we'll go with some signals like we as we have a contact permission and sms permission we'll try to search for the apis and we'll try to go via them right so here uh, we try to uh, find this um, okay invoke is there inside invoke any kind of uh, main activity is raised running okay 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 you see what is happening here okay Your declaration is live lateral enabled get value okay fine uh, not an issue the code is little bit of uh, like obfuscated not too much and uh, okay uh okay fine uh, not an issue let us not uh waste a time right as we already know we have a permission let us let us uh try to check for our uh, signals right so i will show i will go with the sms you can you can go with the context contract or whatever it is it's a uh, your wish totally so i will go with sms okay so this is the parameter which has a, a inquiring parameter so find the usage of this okay we saw live lateral before we were almost nearer okay <laughs> okay not an issue okay here it is assigned to this and it is it is returning the value oh uh, find usage oh here you can see it is it is uh like you know inquiring the sms and whatever the sms is there is the body and it is adding to this and hit uh and message and text all sms text uh, writer uh writer up and like in a sense it is it is writing into some temp mail and after that with socket connection you can see a mail sender right it it is uh it it, it gonna it gonna uh send out mail sender so class has been initialized and uh there will be some some you know uh, some class that has been now uh, implemented for that you can check here right main part and all right so let us let us go back you can see all all it has been heading into some mail like as a uh, it is like whatever data it is there it is getting from a device and is sending via mail to uh, if you if you go for this uh, if you go behind these parameters you will find set from and set subject mail body parameter and uh, you can see right all these all these it, it, like are the mail parameters and you can password authentication you, you can go and you can try to uh, find usage or else we can we can try something right obviously i probably it might have implemented some uh, okay gmail thing uh, probably this will be uh, the gmail where he is sending the information right okay let us go back we we saw the sms info right we are doing a back to so obviously if he is sending the sms there will be implementation of uh, contacts also send all sms right let us see when the send all sms got triggered send all sms and it is being on send all sms request it is inside okay if you see here you can see a, a, a if else loop uh, you can see on send call log request on send sms request on send apps request on send device name request contact request on record mic on record mic 2 mic 3 capture cam capture cam 2 right if you remember i said earlier early, it's not just related to xms and contact it said everything everything send apps number of apps call logs even the recorded uh, voice audio clips everything and not only that it is even getting some uh, send sms right it's even performing the sms i mean like sms fraud kind of stuff right so i uh, probably like this might been triggered from the inbox probably again because he is getting see you know he is getting the mail observer from 
you can see here is checking the inbox like whenever whenever some a trigger point is sent so probably at some trigger point like sometimes what happened there will be something like rat or we call it as remote administration tool where you will be having a dashboard with a lot of functionalities right if we if you click on a function called get contacts like it will send out some flag as one or zero or two or three so based on the year 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 there uh uh, they are uh, checking with some subject and uh, yeah, they are uh, checking with the subject, right? So similar like that, uh, based on there, they based on that, like if it is a one, get the contacts, if it is two, get the SMS, if it is three, send a photos, uh, like, like attack photos. So they, like that's what the RAT, uh, this is remote administration tool works. So this is, this is how the backdoor uh, works, guys. There will be some point which triggers, uh, which triggers everything, right? We see mail observer, right? Mail observer, we saw in Android manifest, if I'm not wrong. Mail observer, mail service. Yeah. We saw mail service and boot complete receivers. Oops, let's go back. And provider receiver dump. We saw mail service also. Yeah. So this is about uh, the backdoor guys. You can even see here, uh, uh, yeah, on, on main service only, all, all these functions, functionalities has been initiate, initiated. You can see capture uh, cam. If you see, it will open a camera and it will try to uh, take a photo. Either it is a front cam or back cam, depends, right? So this is how the backdoor application works and this is how you can uh, find uh, the like you know from a static analysis like it's all depends upon the signals you choose and the permission so make sure you analyze the manifest file first very well so that you can you can try to uh, make your RA first sometimes what happens you might not end up uh, in the right uh, way from a main activity so it is better to get some signals also uh, it, like uh, uh, keeping in a mind so that it will make our uh, work faster so this is about a backdoor we'll see you in the next video bye bye